Hello guys, so this is the final method in the Roots of Equation chapter. We call it the second method. So why do we need this second method? Okay, so you have learned newton raphson method before. The potential problem with the newton raphson method is sometimes when the function is too complicated, we will have trouble to evaluate the derivative, okay? Um, and for this case, the derivative actually can be estimated by using a method what we call as backward finite divided difference instead of just a plain calculus. So you will learn a lot about this backward finite divided difference in the coming chapters of derivation. So at the meantime, what you need to know is we use this method to come up with the second method in order to replace the derivative of the function. So for this second method, you actually require two initial guesses, which is the xi and xi minus 1, the backward, the backward of the xi with a certain step size. You need these two values. And these are your formula here xi plus 1 equals to xi. So this is the newton raphson formula. But when you use backward finite divided difference, we can actually represent the derivative uh, equation with this formula here. f prime xi, which is the function of the de derivation of the function, equals to fxi minus 1 minus fxi divided by xi minus 1 minus xi. So what you do is you just substitute this into this newton raphson formula and you will get the second method formula. So this is the final formula that you will be working with. All right. So again, these are the procedure of the second method. The first step is you need to state the initial guesses of xi and xi minus 1, the backward, okay, the backward of the xi, and of course the stopping criterion, and then determine the root from this second formula, and calculate ea, and then if ea more than es, repeat step 2, and so on, and so on. Let's look at an example here. Use the second method to estimate the root of this function. Okay, start with the initial estimates of xi minus 1 equals to 0 and x0 equals to 1.0. So as you can see in this example, the question actually provides the true root for the function, which is this value. So in this case, why they are providing the true root? They just want to show you how deviate your estimated value compared to the true root. Okay, let's look at the first iteration. Starting with two different initial guesses, they calculated the function for each of these x values and they got 1 and negative 0 0.63, 2, 1, 2, for x1, sorry, for x0 equals to 1, all right? So then they substitute these values into the second formula to get the estimated root for the first iteration as 0 0.61270. Now, this is just a bonus. They are calculating the true error. So, they are comparing this value with this true root. So, the difference is 8.0%. As for the second iteration, they are still using x0 equals to 1. Here, x0 equals to 1. They are still using x0 equals to 1. But then the second initial guesses of x is the one that they have just calculated, which is 0 0.61270. So here, when they have the, sec the two guesses of the x, just substitute these two x's into the function, formula of the function, to achieve this and this. And then you may use all these values in the second formula to calculate the new root, which is 0 0.56384. Now, this 0 0.56384 has a true error of 0 
So if you can, if you notice that the true error has drastically reduced from 8% to 0 0.56384. This just to show you how fast the second method converges to the true root. Okay, so for the third iteration, again, you need the two values of x, initial guesses. So what is, are the values? Of course, the first value is 0 0.61270 from here. And the second x is the one that you have just calculated, which is 0 0.56384. So this and this will be the initial guesses for the third iteration. 1 and 0 0.61270 here. 1 and 0 0.61270 will be the initial guesses for the second iteration. So again, you just repeat the same thing all over again to calculate a new root of x3, 0 0.56717 with true error of even, even decrease to 0.0048%. Okay? So, um, this question actually doesn't say how many iterations that you have to do and what is the stopping criteria. But this is just to show you how to use second method to calculate or to solve problem, any problem given a certain function. So the usually students, they get confused on the selection of the two axes for each iteration. So you just need to use the latest values of x. So for the first iteration, you have no choice. You have to use the initial guesses 0 and 1.0. For the second iteration, you need two guesses, right? So the, the previous, the most, um, the most latest values are definitely the one that you just calculated. And the previous one, which is 1.0, not 0, just x minus 1, all right? 1.0. And for the third iteration, you are using the one that you have just calculated for your x2. And x1 remain to be 0 0.61270 and so on and so on. If you need the fourth iteration, so your two initial guesses will be 0 0.56384 and 0 0.56717. All right? Okay, so I'm going to show you in my next video on how to solve this problem using the second method. Okay, so stay tuned.